uh, Mathieu Douare, you were saying that you have some more precise data about who is the Macron voter. Yeah, there, there, there are things that are very obvious. That that is first is the uh, highest uh, scores are uh, with uh, both the youngest and the uh, elderly voters. Mm, so uh, and two extremes. Yeah, the two extremes. And not surprisingly, the only edge break where he fares uh, worse than Le Pen is the ones between 50 and 59, that is just so close to retirement age mm. that they fear they should have to work longer. And not very surprisingly, is also indeed faring far better with graduates. This is not new. Uh, actually, the sociology is quite reminiscent of what we had on the Brexit referendum or the uh, US 2020 election. Uh, what is different, maybe, is that he also is the conservative candidate. I mean, his coalition is both progressive and conservative, not extremely progressive, not extremely conservative. So he's a real centrist. And that is reflected by the sociology, by the age breaks, also by the homogeneity of uh, his course across the territory. He's not faring particularly well in the larger cities where Mélenchon was very strong. In the first round, he's faring very well in the run for logical reasons. And he was not faring particularly uh, weak in uh, rural areas because the conservative voters still supported him there. Uh, the younger voters voting for Le Pen and the elderly for him. So it's a very large coalition.